Divine Ones is Jerome Braggs, the intuitive healer who teaches you how to heal yourself and manifest a truly delicious life through the practice of self-love. And today I wanted to kind of talk about something that's at, actually at the foundation of my teachings and the foundational element to understand if you're really going to follow my work or use my work in any type of way. Um, and also it was at the foundation of the lessons and the understandings that I got uh, in my healing journey after my near-death experience in 2005. And that is that the soul, our soul, each of our soul, is the source of health and well-being. It is the source of it. So no matter who you are, no matter what you believe, no matter how old you are, what your health status is, what your economic status is, what your race or gender, sexuality is, the what actually is the source of the health in your body, even more than the food that you eat or the water that you drink, and what actually is the source of the well-being in your life, even more than that vision board that you're making or the meditation that you're doing, is the energy and the consciousness of your soul. Your soul is the source of health in the body and the source of well-being. So for health, the body was created um, by our soul. Each of our bodies was uniquely created by our unique souls to house the energy of itself, to house the consciousness and the energy of itself, the wholeness of itself. The wholeness of the soul is literally what the body was made to run off of. And so when the body has a flow of the soul's energy and consciousness in it, it experiences good health. But when it doesn't, it is not, it cannot, because it is literally starved of what it was created to run off of. And so this is really important to understand when we're thinking about when we're trying on a healing journey, like this was something I had to really learn when I was trying to heal myself from terminal disease was to understand that the path to my healing more than um, getting in good, you know, healthy foods, more than getting good in good rest was really looking at and learning how do I become more of my soul? And this is another piece of this as well. What I learned is because the, the truth is, if we are experiencing chronic illness or chronic disease, especially some type of terminal disease, the root cause of that, the root cause of the manifestation of that in our lives is we have be, been becoming less of our soul in our lives somehow. We've been betraying ourselves somehow. We've not been living our truth somehow. We've not been um, really living our wholeness. We've got pieces of ourselves that we've been rejecting or denying. Um, we've been have pieces we've been suppressing or hiding. We haven't been the true expression of our soul in our life. We haven't been becoming more and more of that. We've been becoming less and less of that. And that's been starving our body of the nourishment that it needs to be healthy, the very source of its health. So that's really important to understand is that the source of our health as soul beings having human experience is the consciousness and the energy of our soul. Like, are we becoming more of the consciousness of our soul? Are we becoming more of the thoughts? Like, are we, are we holding more of the beliefs and the thoughts in our consciousness? Like things like, I am enough as I am. Um, I am loved. Life loves me. Uh, my body is a beautiful and a safe place to be. Like these are thoughts that are in alignment with how the soul thinks. So how the, the, the consciousness of the soul. Are we thinking things like um, I'm unattractive and ugly? Are we thinking things like um, I'm unworthy? Are we thinking things like I'm not safe in this world? Um, those type of thoughts take us away. We become less. So if you can think of like, if you can see the aura of you, which is literally how much of the soul's energy is, is, is pouring through you and it emits a light. If you can look at that and see that, as we become more and more of our soul, our aura expands. But as we become less of that, like if we're disconnected from the consciousness of our soul, we're holding those beliefs like I just listed out, our, our aura begins to shrink down, right? The same thing with the energy of the soul. The energy of the soul feels like freedom. It feels like worthiness. It feels like ease. It feels like empowerment and joy. These are, these are facets 
of the the energy of the soul those are vibrations but the soul's energy is a multi-vibrational energy it's the energy of love which is a multi-vibrational energy and it has those different vibrations that make up the wholeness of it right well we're to become more and more of those energies we're to expand more and more of those energies into in our lives right in our being in our lives so if we're feeling less free If we're feeling less worthy, if we're feeling less joyous, if we're feeling less empowered and we carry that for a chronic period of time, we're shrinking our aura down. We're becoming less of our soul in our lives. And that starves the body of the nutrients for what it needs to be healthy, right? It also starves us of the vibration, the high frequency that we need to manifest a delicious life to manifest our dreams like we've been taught that it's all about this vision board and it's about this this manifestation and these prayers and this affirmation and while those things can help assist us what the real thing is about is becoming more of the soul getting the consciousness in like really downloading the consciousness into how we believe Like, so we can get the beliefs that we're enough, that we're loved, that we're safe in this world, that our body is a beautiful and safe place to be, that we're not alone. Like those type of of beliefs and those type of thoughts raise our energy. They raise us into a feeling of being loved and worthy. And they raise us into a feeling of being at peace and being free and things like things are going to work out for me. Like those type of beliefs help us hold the energy of our soul and the consciousness of our soul. And then things begin to manifest, right? Because our soul is the source of well-being. So when our, our life is not working out well, when things aren't working out well, whether in our relationships, whether they're not working out well in our finances, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that we need to just hurry up and scurry and do external things. And I'm not saying that external things aren't part of the process to do because there are going to be some things we need to do. But the big piece that makes the shift is to look at where have I become less of my soul and not more? Where have I become less of my soul and not more? And instead of me doing one more vision board or me burning one more white candle or burning one more stick of sage or me doing one more juice fast, can I look at where have I not been becoming the fullness of my soul? And that is when transformation really begins to happen because our soul is the source of health and well-being. It is the source that creates, that manifests, and that sustains all the positive things that we want for ourselves. So if we're not experiencing those positive things, the key is to look at how do I become more of my soul and not less? And how do I nourish the, the energy of my soul so that it expands in me and doesn't diminish, right? So that my aura expands instead of diminishes. That is what self-love really is all about. That self-love is literally the practice of becoming more and more and more of our soul and not less. And nourishing more and more of our soul instead of starving it. And so that is why self-love is so important. This is why you'll hear me say over and over and over again that self-love is the key to healing ourselves and being well. And self-love is the real secret to manifesting a life of our dreams because self-love helps us become the, the more and more of our soul, which is love itself. So that's the foundational piece to my teachings that's the foundational piece to what self-love is all about it's about becoming more of your soul so that you can experience better and better health even even if you're on death's door if you're still alive and still breathing you can still become more of your soul and you can still manifest whatever it is that you deeply deeply dream but again the key to it is not to um, go out and try and make it and push it and force it to happen. The real key to it is to look at where you are resisting, where you are blocking, where you may be suppressing, becoming more of who you truly are, more of your soul in your life. And once you do that, you become the energy that manifests what you want and you become the energy flow that creates and sustains good health in your body. So... 
I hope this has helped you. If you know someone else who needs to hear this message, please feel free to share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you if you resonate with these type of messages. I'll be putting messages out this like this several times a week. Until next time, I love you. Now go love yourself.